This is what Australia looks like now. Burned. As I walk through this scorched land in my own local area, it's confronting. It's dark, it's dirty, it's dead. But thankfully this week, the rains came and saved us. But it's only for a time, because the worst is yet to come. The height of summer has not hit us yet. These have been the worst bushfires in Australia's recorded history, with a loss of 10 million hectares of bushland, which is 10 million football fields. That's approximately half of all bushland and forest in Australia. To put that into some context, it's about one and a half times the state of Tasmania, or about the same size as Oregon in the United States. We've sadly lost 28 people, 2,000 homes and properties, despite the best efforts of our valiant volunteer rural fire safety men and women. And possibly saddest of all, and most heartbreaking of all, is the images and knowledge that a billion of our native animals have been killed or will die shortly, including kangaroos, wombats, and our most beloved koalas. These fires have rightly terrified Australians and the onlooking world. And it has shocked us like nothing before into the realization that climate change is happening. It's real. And these are the beginning stages of it. And I don't like it. Nobody likes it. Australia needs to change its ways. We're one of the worst countries for emissions. We've got the least ambitious targets to reduce emissions and it's time we stepped up and improved our game. Mr Morrison, Prime Minister, if ever there was a mandate from the people to take courageous action and set courageous goals, it's now. Take these bushfires and make something good out of it. Be the man of action that we know you to be. I, for one, am prepared to do my part and change the way I live and change my habits to contribute my part to the solution. Are you?